and hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and today I'm a brand new video for Tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial will be taking a look at Photoshop, the image editing software, and taking a look at layer masks, how to work with layer masks, what they are, and what techniques you could use to improve your editing skills. Now we have a free version of this, well, we have a, another tutorial available for the free editing software GIMP, so if you're using GIMP instead of Photoshop, you, we do have a tutorial on that. I'll link it in the description. We'll have a card and an annotation on screen right now. So you can take a look at that if you don't have Photoshop. But essentially, the, the, the uh, techniques are the same. The uh, the way you use layer masks are the same. And everything is pretty much the same. So what a layer mask basically is, it's a way to avoid destructive editing. And destructive editing, I'll show you an example right now. Uh, we have a stock image right here of a girl sitting with, a, with a, the background behind her. And say you wanted to change this background to have this background, perhaps. Now, what any beginner Photoshop user would do would probably be, you know, to, to grab the eraser tool, which is right here, to grab the eraser tool, and we'll get a pretty big brush size here. Size, right? And we would just start erasing the background away, right? We're just gonna do a quick sketch here. Nothing too crazy. Right? This is what you would probably do and start erasing everything else. Now, yeah, this is great. It gets the job done. We have the uh, background, the new background here, right? But the thing with this is, this is this is called destructive editing. And what destructive editing is, is that you can't really get back the original image. Uh, you'd have to control Z everything or control Alt Z everything. And there's no easy way to get back your original image. So if you were to be editing, and you know, all of a sudden you think, oh, I messed up here, I need to fix this, or you wanted to change the background back. There's no easy way of doing that because I have to get the original image back. You have to find an earlier version of the edit, or you'd have to control Z everything and undo everything just to get something back. So you always want to be working in a non destructive way. And Photoshop is great at doing this, at editing in a non destructive way, because one of the tools you can use is a layer mask. Now layer masks can be used many different ways. We've used layer masks on the channel, uh, several different ways to add, you know, gloss effects to text. We've used it to add uh, patterns on on an image to make it look like, you know, different shades of colors are over the image. But typically, layer masks are mainly used for uh, doing this specific thing that I've done right now, taking out a piece of the image and adding a different background, but still keeping the original image in its contents so they can easily go back to it when you need to. So the way you want to add a layer mask, it's very simple. You just click the button down here at the bottom, it says add mask. And you'll see that a second image, a second white blank image will be right next to uh, the original image on this layer right here. And what this basically means is that you're now able to work on this specific white layer. You don't want to be working on the original layer here because you're going to be destructively editing again. You want to work on this mask layer. Think of it as sort of like a copy. And if you want to get rid of the mask, you'll still have the original layer, which is the original image. Now, the way you want to work with this is that uh, you'll see that it's a white image right now, a white layer that's on top of this. This is a white mask. And white means that nothing is changing in your image. If you want something to change your image, you're going to have to use a black brush. So if you go ahead and go to your brush tool right here. And make sure you're using black always. So I'm get a black here instead of a white. And what you can then do is we can go ahead and zoom in here a bit. And you can now use your eraser tool again. But this time when you use the erase but this time when you use the eraser tool, you'll notice the same thing is happening. We are still getting the background. And let's just do a quick job at this. Obviously, you want to take your time when you're doing this. But as you see, now when we have this and you're thinking, oh, you know, I messed up here. Yeah, you could you could go ahead and do control Z as you usually would. Or you can go back to an earlier uh, version of the image or you could just restart. But the nice thing about layer mask is that you can easily fix this by now using a white color. And check this out. When you use a white, 
white when he's white. Make sure you're on your brush tool, not the eraser tool. Make sure you're on brush again. And when we use a white, you'll see that we're able to bring back a part of the image just by coloring white. And this is the neat thing about layer masks is that you can bring back the things that you messed up on or you can bring back content that you may want to bring back without having to restart, without having to undo things or anything like that. Let's make this size a bit bigger. As you see, we're able to bring back and the reason why we're getting this uh, dark shade of black is we're not, we're not on a thick brush. But as you see, I can easily bring back the original image just by working with a layer mask instead of having to manually do it. Uh, the, 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 the only thing you really need to wrap your head around is knowing the difference between black and white. White means that nothing is changing in the image and you basically have an original mask of the image and black are the changes that you've made. Now another great thing you can do with layer masking is if you were to go ahead and delete this layer mask real quick and to delete a layer mask all you have to do is click the layer mask here right click and then go ahead and click delete layer mask. If we wanted to go ahead and take the uh, subject out of this image also we can go ahead and grab our lasso tool here and just draw a rough sketch around it like so. And then we can go ahead and click the add layer mask button at the bottom here and it automatically already starts to take out uh, the subject from the from the original background and place the old background onto it and you'll notice on the right side here that everything that we've basically erased from the layer mask is black everything that is still part of the original image is white and that's the uh, key thing about layer mask that you need to understand white means original black means edited out and if you ever wanted to go back to the original image all you'd have to do really If you ever wanted to go back to the, ori the original image, all you'd have to do is you can either uh, delete this layer mask and you'll still have the original image. Or if you want you if you want to bring part of this image back, you can just go ahead and grab your brush tool again, get a black color, and make sure you're coloring on the layer mask. As you saw, I just colored on the original layer and this is what happens when you color on the original layer. You start coloring over the, you start making the original layer black. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're always coloring on the layer mask. You can tell which um, which layer you're on, whether the original or the mask. You see the uh, white, the white border around it. And we're going to change our brush size again and our thickness and our type because for some reason we're stuck on this uh, fuzzy, we're stuck on this fuzzy brush, which I don't really like. But as you see, as we're coloring over this, we can bring part of the image back very easily. So those are pretty much the basics of layer masks. It's just a means of uh, keeping your original content and not deleting it so that you can easier go back to the original content if you wanted to. But the main thing you need to remember is black and white, really. Black is for edited, white is for original. And to easily add a layer mask, just come down here, add the mask, and then you can start editing. It's a lot more powerful to use layer masks instead of just editing on top of the original image because, you know, the entire point of using Photoshop is to non-destructively do it. Otherwise, you could be using paint to do all this. But I hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you learned something about layer masks. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave it in the comments section below. And plenty of other Photoshop tutorials coming in the future. If you haven't subscribed, you may do so. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.